Hello again, civil engineers. Uh, today we're talking about anchor design, ground anchor design to be specific. Um, and I'm going to show you a free way to calculate uh, anchor ground anchor capacity uh, for early stage feasibility uh, type calculations. Uh, not anything finite element related today, just more empirical approaches um, and yeah, using methods that can be solved by hand. So um, today uh, we're going to use Civils AI. So if you come across to www.civils.ai, I'll talk you through how the calculators work. So you're going to come up to here to calculators. All these calculators are free. You're going to be able to go to geotechnical and you're going to be able to load up down here, anchored excavation analysis. So if we load this up, it's going to take a few seconds to process um, and load up the excavation calculator. But here, what we can see is a pretty straightforward uh, sheet pile uh, excavation with anchor, anchored uh, struts here um, retaining this wall. And what we're going to be able to do is analyze, um, first of all, we can calculate the net uh, active and passive resistances using the Berland approach in accordance with Eurocrate 7. And then we're going to be able to calculate the loads acting on these anchors using the fixed earth uh, approach. Uh, which means that this length of the sheet pile is determined for us and we're given a minimum length. There's other approaches if you want this length to be uh, reduced and for this to be higher, but this is going to give you the minimum length it needs to be for this particular approach. So here you can have a menu where you can edit your borehole, you can add or remove different uh, ground layers in here, you can change the layer thickness, so let's say we've got 30 meters of this gravelly sand, and what we can even do here is we can select a material. So like, let's say we can adjust this to something like, let's say clay. Uh, the friction angle is going to update for us here in the unit weight, pulling information from the database for typical values for clay. And we're going to be able to update this soil profile in here, rerun the analysis. So you can see this is all updated. The geology is now clay here with coarse sand on the top. You can change your anchor depth here. It's set as 1.5 meters below ground level. You can change the base depth of your excavation and the minimum pile toe level. So this is the level here. It's already set for us using the fixed earth approach. And the angle of the anchor is also prefixed at four, four degrees. Um, we have some advanced settings in here, which we can change. I won't go into them so much today, but you can have things like surface surcharges and overwrite some of these properties um, applying to the wall. You can see here how the soil pressure is calculated. So using the Berland approach and fixed earth uh, method, uh, we can see here that how that 53 kilonewton load is being calculated as applying uh, as being applied from the net. Uh, you can see here the net active earth pressure, and then you have the passive earth pressure on this side. Here we can see some anchor results. So you can see here the uh, edge of the failure wedge through the ground. Uh, and you can see here that we have our anchor. And what we're doing, doing with this is we're finding the applied load to the anchor, the design applied load to the anchor. And then we're finding, uh, we're using our anchor length to determine the free anchor length, which is the length within here, which is on ground, which isn't going to be effective because it's within the failure uh, angle. And we're calculating this fixed anchor length out here. What we can do to actually generate some results automatically is we can open up our anchor database and find components. So here we've worked with Dextra to um, digitize their components here, their capacities. So what we can do is bring in this anchor and it's going to use the Bustamante Dois method to generate some results automatically and calculate what's the anchor utilization, taking the least out of the anchor ground interface, anchor steel interface, and the anchor yield strength itself. And you can see here, we've got a past result. Just to keep with this within five minutes, we'll go very quickly into this sheet pile results as well. So bending moment diagram, shear diagram, deflection diagram. And what we can do here is find a sheet pile size that we're interested in. So here we have Z sections, U sections, from ArcelorMittal, and we can bring this um, Z section, let's say here, back into the anchor excavation analysis. And we're gonna generate similarly some results for this part um, on this sheet pile component. And we can see this is passing as well, uh, anchor results passing as well. So we can, we can use this um, in our analysis. Thank you for listening, goodbye.